hello guys how's everyone doing i don't know if this is my first video in the new year but if it's my first video i want to say happy new year so we are now in 2024 and we are taking up new or um restarting old hobbies so i've been knitting off and on since seventh grade but i've never like been serious about knitting i just knew how to do it and then i'll forget but this year i decided that i'll want to learn how to make patterns so right now i'm making popcorn flowers that i'm going to attach to a granny square to make a cardigan this is the first knitting project that i've ever done using patterns so i'm showing you guys the steps to do it so first you need to make five chains so those are five chains that i've made so far and then you have to take your hook and you put it through the first chain that you've made and then what you do is pull the yarn through that first chain and then you slip knot they call it a slip knot that's when you pull the yarn through a hole. So I've made a slip knot. This is giving you an automatic circle or a magic circle. There's a way to make a magic circle. I haven't learned how to do that. So that's why I do the chains and then form the circle. So now that I've made the slip knot, I'm going to make... Um, eight single um, crochets all right so if you want to know how to make single crochets there's a lot of videos on youtube teaching you how to make single crochets i'm just putting my hook through the hole pulling the yarn through and then doing a slip knot that will make you single crochets all right you see i pulled the yarn through and then there's three um, knots and then you join them together. That's a single crochet. But if you go on YouTube, they have a lot of videos that teach you how to make single crochets. So I'm going to do eight of those and you'll see me sometimes counting so I can make sure that I've made the right amount. Sometimes I make the right amount. Sometimes I make nine instead of eight and that's fine. Um, you're usually supposed to make eight, but I noticed when I make nine, it still looks good. It just maybe is a little bit bigger, but me, I don't always follow directions and rules. So for me, as long as it's a, a popcorn flower, no matter the size, it's fine. And even if you want it smaller, you can reduce it from eight single crochets to five, four six i don't know but the one that i saw online that i did was eight and i might even shout her out so you guys can go on her page to see how to to make the popcorn um flowers so now we've made the eight uh single crochets now what we're going to do is make eight more chains when we're finished okay wait wait sorry you made the eight um, th uh, single crochets. You have to do another slip knot. So what you do is you take the hook and you put it in the first single crochet that you made. And then you do a slip knot. All right. So you guys see right now I'm doing a slip knot. Okay now you can see the hole that was made when i did the five chains okay so after you do that slip knot you're going to chain three make sure you don't chain the three too tight because it's going to be very hard for you to do the next step so you chain three and now you're going to do double crochets again if you want to know how to do double crochets you can look on YouTube, their videos, 
but I'll try to explain it the best way I can how to do double crochets. All right, to do a double crochet, you yarn over. All right, you see? Okay, what I'm going to show you what a yarn over is. All right, so this is a yarn over. You put the hook through, you bring up another um, yarn, and then you join the first three, and then the last two, you yarn over, and then you join it again. I don't know if I explained that properly, and that's why my advice is to pause this video and find out how you make a double crochet, and then you come back to the video. But if you watch closely my hands, you'll see how you make double crochet. And you'll do that double crochet until you get five, five rows. The first um, chain that you did, the three chain, it counts as one row. You see, I'm showing you, it counts as one row. And then you do four more, bringing it to five rows. All right. And then the third chain, that is where you put the hook through. And then after you put the hook through that third chain for your first row, and then you join the hook to the last row that you did. And then you do a snip knot. So you see now you've joined it together and now you'll do a, snip, a slip knot, bringing it together. And then you chain two. After you do that slip knot, you chain two. And then you do a double crochet in the next um, row. All right. I don't know if I did um, two chains, but you're supposed to do two chains. And then now you see you're doing double crochet, um, a double crochet. So you see how to double chain over, go through, bring up. Now you have three, you uh, chain over. Oh my goodness guys don't listen to me just watch the video and go and figure out how to do a double crochet it's i had to learn how to do the double crochet because me i knew how to to crochet but i didn't know the terms for it so i'll just be doing any random pattern and not going anywhere but once i learned what a single crochet was what a double crochet was what a uh, triple crochet all of that it's going to be easier for me to follow patterns and make um, different items all right guys so I'm going to continue doing that for the remainder of the rows until I have eight of those popcorn flowers you see right now I have two and I'm going to come back when I have eight and then I'll show you guys the next step all right guys see now I have eight of those flowers I think it's eight sometimes I have nine and I don't realize it so now what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into the next row you don't want to slip stitch into you've already slip stitch into the row that you finish on now you're going to do no you do yes either snip chip that's a chain or step stitch okay all right so you're going to guys i hope this is not confusing because i'm all over the first place this is the first time i'm doing a video where i'm trying to teach people how to do something but you're going to slip stitch into the next row you see you skip that row where your chain is you slip stitch into the next row Okay, you're slip stitching and then you're going to chain three again. Remember when you're chaining three, you don't want the chains to be too tight because you're going to need to put your hook in the last chain so that you can join the flowers, the flower petals together. So that's two and then that's three. And I'm not doing it too tight because I know I'm going to have to come back to that last one. And join it together so now I yarned over put it through the hole bring out the yarn yarn over okay so you guys might be getting the idea of how to do a double stitch by watching this 
next time I film a tutorial like this, I'll do an overhead camera and have the, um, the project on the table flat so you guys can see my hands and see what I'm doing. Because I don't know if you guys can see the way I have the camera angle and my hands. But hopefully you guys get the gist of what I'm doing. So for this one, oh sorry guys, I'm removing lint because the yarns, they have lint on it. So whenever I see that, I usually try to remove the lint so that it'll be easier to crochet. See guys, there's lint. All right, for this next row, this next session, because the first section we did eight, this section we're going to do 16. So each, um, each section of the flower we'll do two. So this is the first one we've done. And then in the same, in the same slot, we're going to do a second flower. So you see guys, I'm showing you guys how the hook looks when you join the first chain with the last chain and then you do a slip knot okay to pull the petal the flower petal together and then after that you chain two all right and then in that same slide again we're going to do a second petal you see i'm Pull, pulling the flower to the side so I can have enough space. Sometimes it'll feel like you don't have enough space, but just try to shift the first flower over so you can have enough space to do the five rows. All right, so guys, that's what I'm going to do for the remaining of the video. I'm just going to create two petals in each slot or each row. And when that is done, I will slip knot, um, I'll do one chain, and then I'll cut it. And that would be your popcorn uh, flower. I hope this video was helpful in case you want to make popcorn flowers. Um, I will maybe find out the name of the person, of the channel where I learned how to do the popcorn flower and the granny square that I'm going to be doing with these flowers and then tell you guys. So let me go and find out the name and then I'll come back and let you guys know. All right guys, the name of the channel is Hooked by Robin. That is where I got the popcorn um, flower crochet from. So I hope you guys saw that is Hooked by Robin. If you liked this type of video, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know if I should make more crochet videos. I'm going to make sure to make one uh, when I do the granny squares. And then to show you guys the final product when it's done, I'm making a cardigan. It was, it's my first time making a cardigan. It's my first time using a pattern to make anything that is crochet. So guys, wish me luck. I'm excited to, to do this project. And my sister asked me to make her one when I'm done with my own. So I'm going to make sure when I'm doing hers, I make it very nice, use very good yarn. And I can't wait to see how the product comes out, the project comes out. And when I'm doing my sisters, I'll share with you guys. I already have a kind of color palette I want to use for her project but she might have a different color pa um, a palette that she wants me to use i've asked her what colors she wants if she tells me to choose i already have an idea what i want to do for her so again i hope you guys enjoyed this a product i'm showing you guys the hook that i use it's kind of bent it's a metal hook that i've had for years and now i'm putting it to use and the size is 3.75 mm all right, guys, the size that I use for this project is 3.75 mm or the F hook. All right, guys. Oh, I'm showing you guys more things. All right, okay, I'm showing you all of the different flowers that I've made so far. Um, my goal was to make 42 flowers, but I think I'm going to make 45. If anything, I, I might have to make more. 
So that's the granny square that I made. And I'm going to make um, 45 to 50 of those and then join them together. These are the color swatches that I've made of the flowers. They're all bright colors. It's going to be interesting to see how they all turn out on this cardigan. It's going to be a very colorful and busy cardigan, very vibrant. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, it's nine different color pat uh, patterns that I'm using. I'm using nine different colors, but we'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can make these kind of videos moving forward. All right, bye.